Hey everybody, it's Emily and I, it is uh, Tuesday, May 4th, and I just finished recording episode number 10 of Playing the Glass Bead Game with Michael Wan. Um, today's Tuesday, the show will probably come out on Thursday or Friday, um, but I just wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, the episode. You're gonna about to see a clip from it. This was kind of an interesting episode. Uh, we, went, we were all over the place. Um, but somehow we still really managed to pull some connective threads. We talked cats, we talked bats, we talked uh, Henry, is it Henry Mancini or Harry Mancini? Nadia Comaneci, Bella Caroli, Deborah Harry from Blondie, all kinds of stuff. And uh, what emerged was a pretty interesting episode. I guess the underlying theme being, um, you know, the personal connections uh, to uh, the real life game boards upon which we play. And uh, we focused in a little bit on uh, some more personal programming aspects for me in terms of uh, my past and whatnot, but it's fascinating the way it all sort of weaves into this interconnected game. And uh, we had a lot of fun playing today. So check out the clip. And I just also wanted to clarify for people because I've been getting a lot of questions about the various ways to uh, receive these episodes and to play the game. Um, basically there's two. Uh, there's three. So you can become a patron at the Project Kids level on my Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash off planet media. That includes all of my personal content in addition to all of the Project Kids and playing the glass bead game content. It includes all of the interactivities associated with my Patreon, um, group chats, um, cafe experience, Project Kids Social Club, Conspiracy Cocktail, everything, pretty much everything I do content wise and interaction wise. Um, then for those people who uh, really like Project Kids or playing, playing the Glass Bead game, there's just a content only site for those things for Michael and I's content together, which is um, projectkids.locals.com. Um, and that there you will just receive all of the Project Kids and playing the Glass Speed game content. There's no interactivity and it's separate from all of my other personal content. And then you can also contact me through email, which is down below if you want to purchase episodes uh, individually. Um, and if you would like to have a sample episode or a free day at the cafe to see if those things are for you, then hit me up and we will make that happen. All right, enjoy the clip. Um, and if you are interested, come join us for the episode. Um, the game's getting ready to move into the real life space. Uh, we'll be hopefully doing a joint uh, event later this summer and whatnot. So things are shaping up and um, we've had a lot of interactivity from other friends of ours and people whose shows we've been on and people who listen, people who are sort of playing the game their own way and starting to really uh, experience these bizarre synchronicities and the interconnectedness of all things. And some people are talking about them in their own videos videos and it's it's exciting it's fun so continue playing come play with us we'll see you soon bye and you guys were talking dun, dun, about dun, dun, today dun 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 <laughs> so you can do that but you can't <laughs> do the you can't do the so henry mancini is a master is an absolute master of creating, like, I don't know if you would, you would call that a, like a hook, but like that small little snippet of melody, which just stays within your head. Like the, the Nadia's theme, uh, the Pink Panther. So if, if I were, like, if I were to lead a group of, of, of mind controlling uh, handlers, like that would be one of the most important tools in my arsenal. Well, I also think that, that, Nadia's theme is hard to reproduce, right? Like it's the same as her, it matches her, right? No, you, like no one, I can't sing the song. You can't sing the song. We can't do it the way she does it, right? Like the song and the, and the person are not reproducible. No, they're not. Yeah, they, they're one of a kind. They're, they're original glass bead players, right? <laughs> they're true yeah, one of a yeah, kind. Yeah, definitely so. Yeah, um, she's married to Bart Connor which is like always been like there's rumors abound always because there's always been rumors that each of them were gay and they're each other's beards right they've been together for a really long time um you know and they had that sort of magical mystical meeting at the american cup you know when nadia was uh, you know still competing for romania and she you know that was when they met each other and then years later that was eventually like at, at the same competition how she escaped i think Right. She was there for something else. I don't think she was competing at that point, but like he 
Bart Connor, like legend has it, was part of the helping her to defect because Romania was still communist and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I don't know if it's just like that it's just rumors abound and there's no truth to it and they're really normal husband and wife or if they're really just like they've been friends since they were kids and they're lifelong companions and they're doing their thing. They own a gym in Oklahoma. Um, but uh, They live in Oklahoma? Yeah. Huh. Yep, that Bart Connor's that's from- That's not interesting. That's not too far from you. Bart Connor's from Oklahoma. He competed for University of Oklahoma. All of his training, all of his life, he pretty much lived in Oklahoma. So- I've never kids. been to Oklahoma, but I can identify it on the map. That I can do. That I can <laughs> say with certainty. Yeah, so if, if Nadia were watching this, she could confirm nor deny the allegations of the dual beard. So maybe we could get her on the show if she's not watching right now. <laughs> but this is what I wanted to say. This is what was jumping out in my mind as well. So, so Romania is 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 tied to uh, is tied to gypsies. Mm-hmm. But the word gypsies comes from Egypt. So there's like this strange, like you know, e- like there's if you read into like like uh, gypsy lore, it's a little bit confusing. But they definitely goes through through Romania. And so gypsy there, is it spelled G G Y it's not G I correct. So then we've got like the G G Y G Y in both of the, um, in both of that. I'm not, I'm not necessarily going anywhere with that, but I'm noticing that. And part of the, part of the gypsy lore has always been the mesmerizing, like the, 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 the entertaining sort of way, the the movement of the body with grace and power. And it's like, it's very floor, well, it's very gymnastic-y, like, you know, acrobats and all of that sort of stuff. It's like glamour magic. Glamour magic. I'm sorry? Glamour magic. I've never even heard of glamour magic, but that sounds like the right word. I'm going to use that. Yeah, it's gl- it's like when you do something sort of sparkly or eye catching that people's attention will be drawn to. So you can steal their wallet over here or do what else you're going to do. You distract them with the glamour. Right. Mm, with, yes, with yes, the yes. Effect, right. Yes. So the other interesting thing about Romania is, and about Nadia Comaneci and Bella Caroli is there's also always been rumors that Bella Caroli is somehow related to um, the family of Drac- the Drac- Dracula. Of course, you didn't have to say that. And yeah. I'm just thinking of, are you talking about Vlad the Impaler or Dracula or they're one and the same? So I, like, I, I don't know if they're one and the same, but like he's from- But they're linked, at so least in our stories. There is an area of Romania that bleeds over into Hungary that is Transylvania. And that is Bella Caroli is actually Hungarian, though he lived in Romania. Right. And from that area of Transylvania where these people and these stories uh, emer- come from. And there's this, I, so just like there's the iconic video of Nadia drawing the chalk line on the beam that we've all seen a million times since we were kids. If you go- I haven't in- seen it a million times since I've been a kid. You've seen it I a million see it. times. There's no right. we in that. Which, which is interesting, but we just assume everyone had the same experience. So, okay, so if you're go in the gymnastics the world at all, right? So, there's this video from back in the 80s of Bella Caroli dressed as Dracula at a Halloween party. And it's like, like this is the story which ABC chose to make the little snippet about him when he's in right. his Dracula costume, which to me was like the revelation of the method here. <laughs> right. right. And ju- just in the same way, like the other probably best known collective consciousness male Bella's Bella Lugosi, who's right. best known for playing Dracula. Right. You got it. I was going to go there next. OK, so Bella Curl, let me see if I can find didn't didn't Martin Landau play him in a movie? I can't think of what it was called. It came out in the '90s, and I think it was a uh, maybe it was about Bella Lugosi. Let me see if I can find the picture of of Bella Caroli dressed as here it is. Yeah, I want to see this. Yeah, I got it. Show me this vampire, and he's with all the little girls. Here we go, right there. It's right up here. That's him. With That's all- him, like as Dracula. That's him as Dracula with all those little girls. Look at all those girls hugging him and yeah. he's waving his gloved white hand above them. Look at that. Yeah. 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 And go look and pull up one of the pictures of Bella Lugosi as Dracula. All right. Bella. Lugosi. I already see him on the, on the, on the, what's it called? Here. Like all of those, like it, he's Bella, Bella Caroli is doing Bella Lugosi. Bella like Lugosi. Yeah. Exactly. Like it's the, it's like, you know, there's, there's, 
no matter how you want to look at that, like he's saying, oh, well, he's making fun of his name and his heritage of being from Transylvania or he's the same man. I don't know, but it certainly is similar. Oh, wait, here, look at this. So here, the guy at the balance beam situation once did an article called Vampires and Nadia Comaneci, the Caroli story. Look at that. You just pull that up. 